All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, we've got quite an interesting topic today. So, have you ever thought that, hey, I want to get cheated on? Have you ever thought that, uh, I don't think I'm a good partner? In fact, I deserve to get cheated on. I don't feel like our frick life is too good. I'm just not providing her the goods. I just feel awful about myself. In fact, uh, I really want to be cheated on. Well, do I have news for you. You get to watch in amazement as your wife smashes another dude in the name of a cheat pass. No repercussions at all. She's home free because you, the loving partner, have given her a cheat pass. All right, so pretty much I found this article, right? Like, um, I swear that's how half my videos start, but I found this article, right? And I thought it would make a great video. Freaking expert believes that you should give your partner a cheat pass for Christmas. Christmas can be a pretty expensive time of the year as you find yourself traipsing around the shops trying to find gifts for the entire family, your best mate, your secret Santa at work, and your next door's neighbor's dog's auntie's cousin. But but a freaking expert reckons that the best gift you could give your other half is actually one that's completely free, a cheat pass. Wait, what? Yep, Wednesday Martin believes that the ultimate present you could hand over to your partner is a hall pass, an agreement that one or both of you can sleep with someone else without repercussions. Just imagine this, right? Oh god, it's Christmas time, and I haven't gotten my dear partner a Christmas present. What will she think of me? Oh god, I know. Let me l let me let some dude rail her on <laughs> on this jolly holiday, bruh. How do these people come up with this? Sh Honestly, like, dear God. Now, listen, I don't celebrate Christmas. Honestly, um, I, I wish I did because it sounds like an awesome time. Like, you get gifts from people. You learn which people kind of care about you a bit more by by the amount of thought they put it, put into your presents. And there's like Christmas lights. The the trees are pretty cool. You put like the little star on top. I, I don't know what it's called, but yeah, it just seems really wholesome, right? And it seems cool, warm, and you can have some fun with the family and friends still like that. I don't know. That's just how it looks from someone who, who does not celebrate the festival. But um, just after seeing some of the presents that people are apparently giving like cheap passes, um, I think I'm good, you know? Like, cheap passes, dude. What does society come to, honestly? Like, it's gotta be, like, one of those super, super selfish people who made this. You know, like, that, um, really, really salty female who just wants to justify her cheating on her husband? That's probably the type of person who made this. Like, I don't know about the cheating part, but apparently, right, don't quote me on this, but this was invented by some doctor or something. I, I don't even know if it's a legitimate doctor, like, she has a PhD or something, but she put that in her name, all right? That's all I know. And the whole concept revolves around um, pretty much getting people to uh, kind of accept polyamory, like be polyamorous, which uh, I'm completely fine with. But you know, most monogamous people um, won't be really, won't really be comfortable with the idea. Now, in case it wasn't clear, the concept of a cheap pass, right, is that you give your wife permission to bang somebody else this Christmas. And the next day she comes back like nothing happened. She pretends she never fricked anybody else and you just get on with your lives uh, imagine nothing happened and that was just like a one-time luxury pass that you gave her a one-time little special privilege ticket to get railed by somebody else now um there's a lot of problems with this which you guys probably see as well i, I don't really need to tell you but in, in case uh, some people don't know like first off if your partner um, has, like, the desire to frick somebody else, is she really happy with you, like, in a monogamous relationship, all right? I'm not talking about a polyamorous. That one, um, that's a di completely different story. But you're in a monogamous, you're, you're in a monogamous relationship. Are you sure it's good when y your partner wants to sleep with somebody else? Like, clearly something's wrong, right? Like, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm a boomer. I, I haven't adapted to, like, the modern era where everybody should frick everybody and just be okay with it. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm actually a boomer. Is it actually, like, weird to question people giving out cheat passes or are we just becoming more open or something? I don't, uh, like, personally, I don't think that's a healthy relationship. That's just my opinion, but, um, I mean, you're free to give your wife a cheap pass, honestly. Like, imagine Ricardo Milos being the other guy. Y y you know she'll never come back. Y you know what they say. Once they're Ricardo, they don't, go they don't go back. And, like, it like, how can you wake up the next morning and have your partner walk in the door, offer you tea, as if she didn't absolutely 
frick somebody, uh, somebody else the, the other night. Like, listen, I've never had a relationship of my own. I've never felt the need to. It just seems like work to me. But uh, I think it's a tad bit extreme to just let your partner sleep with another person for Christmas. And I know there's a couple of comments saying like, oh, you, you, you've never been in a relationship. Uh, how, how would you know anything about anything? Listen, listen. Listen, you absolute moron. I don't need to be a scientist to know that the sun exists, or I don't need to be a computer programmer to know that games have been programmed in some way, shape, or form. I don't need to be in a relationship to know what most people won't find acceptable. This person is called Martin, all right, who released a book called Untrue about why nearly everything we believe about women and lust and infidelity is wrong. Specifically reckons that men should be giving their misses a free pass to cheat, so they're kind of specifying like men should give women the ch pass to cheat not the other way around but because I'll tell you why so this person right the person who created the cheat pass they believe that we've traditionally been taught that men have the like the high fricking drive like they want to frick all the time they're always horny and stuff they're super lusty i don't know if that's a word like uh, lust lusty you get my point so pretty much we've been taught that men want to frick a lot and women don't want to frick as much as men all right they just have a smaller like a lower drive to frick but according to research by martin women actually have the higher freaking drive it's like this new discovery right apparently we've all been lied to this entire time so because of the higher drive of women to frick naturally they want to cheat right and and that's why you, as a man, need to understand that biologically, women want to sleep around more, and they can't help it, right? And that's why you gotta give your partner a cheat pass. Thank you, Martin, for your awesome, awesome research. I will definitely be giving my partner a cheat pass. In fact, I will actually sit there and watch because I'm a c too. So, in an interview with The Telegraph last year, she said, We now know long-term relationships are harder on female desire than they are on male desire. Oh no, the, the, the poor, poor females. It's a miracle they can even resist the urge to cheat because they've got such a high drive, right? According to research by Martin, um, if you have a partner and she hasn't cheated in five months, give her a medal, honestly, because she deserves it. She's, she's fighting her desires, dude. She doesn't want to be with you. Just give her a cheat pass, please. Put her out of her misery. Like, I, I love how it just kind of seems that you cannot provide anything remotely valuable to her. Like, she's bored of you, dude accept it i don't care who you are accept it just let her frick somebody else she's bored of you you're like the same same freaking rotten mango she doesn't want that all right you're not enough you'll never be enough and i don't know why you're complaining honestly she'll be back in the morning <laughs> she'll <laughs> All right, getting to the next point. So now she argues as to why leaving your partner is a terrible idea. So apparently if you're having like relationship issues and you guys aren't meshing, like leaving your partner is a toxic mindset. It, just take a look. Why is it better to get a divorce and move on when you simply decide I don't fancy him anymore or the spark is gone? What a trail of destruction you might save yourself from creating if you said instead, is there something we can do here? Is there, hmm, 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 option A, cheap pass. Option B, hmm, cheap pass. Option C, get banged by Ricardo Milos. I think I'll go with C, B, and A. All right, listen, this entire video I've kind of been memeing, but for anybody watching, like if you think your partner is not for you or you lost a spark in your relationship or whatever, you have two options. This is for monogamous relationship, all right? You have to try to work out your problems by talking to them, you know, just kind of discussing what, what are the issues and, you know, trying to fix them. Or you can just break up. It's not bad. It's not toxic. It's not a trail of destruction. You you really don't need to resort to like a cheat pass. Although uh, it's completely fine if you do, you know, just don't ask anybody else to do it. She continued, we might have said before that, oh well, that's because women like freaking less than men do, but now the new data are helping us understand it's not that women like freaking less than men do, it's that men are better at wanting what they already have, and women struggle more with the same old familiar partner over and over again. Now listen, I'm no scientist, I don't know if men or women have like the higher desire, but just from observing like the real world and seeing but 
what the amount of men paying for OnlyFans and Snapchat and stuff like that. I think, I think, this is, this is probably not confirmed, but I think men may have a slightly desire, hi, slightly higher desire to frick. I don't know. I'm no scientist, though, so don't quote me on that. But just let me know when millions of girls are paying to see a random guy's junk, and then I'll believe, like, the level is somewhat equal, or women have it higher. Like, I don't know. Maybe there's, like, data for that, but I just haven't seen it in the real world. And this is the kicker, right? I've saved the best for last. An author who writes about female sexuality has said that giving your partner a hall pass could keep her more interested long term. Ah, uh. uh, yes, letting your partner literally sleep with somebody else is better long term. Oh my god, how could I have been so blind? All I needed to do was stop worrying about my wife cheating and just let her cheat. Genuinely incredible how people actually think like this. I've been blown away today. Anyways, that's about it. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, make sure to give your partners a cheat pass. Thank you to all my channel members. Thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate it. And thank all of you for sticking around. Each and every upload honestly blows my mind. But um, as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!